This is MSJ Chem. In this video, I'll be looking at covalent bonding. Covalent bonding occurs between non-metal elements. In this periodic table, the non-metal elements are shown in yellow. So as we can see, these elements are found on the right-hand side of the periodic table. As we'll see, these elements have small differences in electronegativity. In this table, we can see the difference in electronegativity between the atoms and the type of bonding. So from this table, we can see that covalent bonding occurs between atoms that have a difference in electronegativity of up to 1.7 units. If the difference in electronegativity is small, we get a non-polar covalent bond. And if the difference in electronegativity is larger, we get a polar covalent bond. So covalent bonds can be classified as non-polar covalent bonds or polar covalent bonds depending on the difference in electronegativity between the bonded atoms. Covalent bonds exist between the atoms in molecular compounds such as carbon dioxide, methane and water. They also exist between the atoms in giant covalent substances such as silicon dioxide and diamond. On the left we have the three molecular compounds which are carbon dioxide, methane and water. The bonds between the atoms in these molecules are covalent bonds. Methane and water both have single covalent bonds between the atoms, whereas carbon dioxide has double covalent bonds. On the right we have two giant covalent substances, which are silicon dioxide and diamond. The atoms in giant covalent substances are also bonded with covalent bonds. However, giant covalent substances have different properties to molecular compounds. These differences will be covered in a later video. Next, we we'll look at the formation of a covalent bond between two hydrogen atoms in a molecule of hydrogen. When two hydrogen atoms bond, they form a single covalent bond. The covalent bond is the electrostatic attraction between the positive nuclei and the shared pairs of electrons. By sharing electrons, each hydrogen atom gains a full outer shell, which in this case is two electrons. It is for this reason that covalent bonding is often described as the sharing of electrons. So to summarize, a covalent bond is the electrostatic attraction between the positive nuclei and shared pairs of electrons. Next, we'll look at single, double and triple covalent bonds. Here we can see the structural formulas of three organic molecules. From left to right, we have C2H6, which is ethane, C2H4 which is ethene and C2H2 which is ethyne. Ethane has a single covalent bond between the two carbon atoms. Ethene has a double covalent bond between the two carbon atoms. And ethyne has a triple covalent bond between the two carbon atoms. A single covalent bond is represented by a straight line. A double covalent bond is shown by two lines and a triple covalent bond is shown by three lines. In this table we can see the type of bond, the number of shared electrons, the carbon to carbon bond strength and the carbon to carbon bond length. Starting with number of shared electrons, a single covalent bond is composed of two shared electrons. A double covalent bond is composed of four shared electrons and a triple covalent bond is composed of six shared electrons. In terms of pairs of shared electrons, a single covalent bond is one pair, a double covalent bond is two pairs, and a triple covalent bond is three pairs of shared electrons. Next, we'll look at the carbon to carbon bond strength. In this column, we have the bond enthalpy, which is the energy required to break one mole of bonds in a gaseous molecule. Starting with the carbon to carbon single bond, we can see that the energy required increases as we go from a single, to a double, to a triple covalent bond. So this tells us that triple covalent bonds are stronger than double covalent bonds, which are stronger than single covalent bonds. Next, we'll look at the carbon to carbon bond length. If we look at the data, we can see that the carbon to carbon single bond is the longest, and the carbon to carbon triple bond is the shortest. So to summarize, the carbon to carbon triple bond is the strongest, and it's also the shortest. The carbon to carbon single bond is the weakest and it's also the longest. So let's end with a summary. 
Covalent bonding occurs between non-metal elements. A covalent bond is the electrostatic attraction between positive nuclei and shared pairs of electrons. Covalent bonds can be polar or non-polar depending on the difference in electronegativity between the atoms. Single covalent bonds are weaker and longer than double or triple covalent bonds which are stronger and shorter.